Hi, my name is Michael Trout, and I want to do a talk on how do we save our planet. Now, I'm not referring to how do we save the rock. I'm talking about how do we save the bees that provide our food, the forests that clean our air and cool, the oceans that cool and provide us our food, you know, our, our fresh drinking water that is only makes up 0.03% of the available water on the planet that we have access to, our seeds for growing our food that some folks like Monsanto and others want to usurp and control and more importantly the 50% of species that we are killing right because of our activities how do we save our planet well if you're like me you may have heard about this for the first time in 2012 this is when it went on to my paradigm and I have actually called this probably the most important talk of the 21st century well I think my presentation is actually the most important talk this is probably the second most important talk because it eluded us on the problem. And we heard him. He talked about the earth is full. Full of us, full of our stuff, full of our waste, full of our demands. Well, what people don't realize is now he's not talking about population. He's talking about the exponential growth of consumption of resources on a finite planet. And the creation of pollution, right, on an exponential growth or the um, uh, consumption of our forests and everything else at an exponential growth. That's that 3%, 4%, 5% per year that folks talk about. Now David Suzuki recently made another talk and um, he's being basically crucified by the you know by the mainstream media on it and ultimately again he's talking about and he doesn't actually say it about a flaw in our business model. This exponential growth function is built into the current business model we call the startup, right? And I and many others, I believe, we could easily argue that every problem, crisis facing our planet stems from this business model, right? So the real question is our future for us, for our kids, and more important, their kids, because right now, at the rate we're going, they don't have one. We're already consuming it. So the good news is this, is that we have what we need. We have a system of agriculture called permaculture that provides and can provide all the food we need on the planet. We also have innovated the energy system that can provide all the power we need. So those are the two main things we need on the planet and they've been innovated. The problem is this, is that again, using the current business model, the startup or innovation or access to capital, we cannot launch and get this innovation in place fast enough and that's what all these folks are talking about is that the current system right the framework that we have which I call the startup framework right or the the business model framework is inhibiting the change that we need so what kind of change do we need well we need one that allows everyone to participate well the startup does not allow everyone to participate um, our current business model is developed for those that have access to capital we need a solution that's going to put the pieces back faster than they're falling off. And again, we've known about this problem since 1971 when a book called The Limits to Growth has come out and we have been able to deal with it. It's 50 years later and we still are not dealing with it. We heard about it in 2012, we still are not dealing with it. And I'll tell you why. It's because, again, I'm going to say it again, our current business model for implementing innovation is too slow because it's not built on an exponential growth function. It's built on a function of very few investing in ideas and launching them. It's full of gatekeepers. Well, what we need is a super fast solution, right? One that can overcome this exponential rate. And again, I'm going to say it again, our current business model, what I call the startup, can't do it. So the problem is and I'm going to say one more time, we need a solution that allows anyone in the world to basically create solutions to help save the planet. And the current business model that we have, called the startup, is beholden to others. They're called accredited investors. They're called angel investors. They're called VCs, right? So what I created, I invented, my creation is called the Founda. It overcomes these barriers and it allows anyone to basically save the planet or help it by launching, validating, funding ideas by the people for the people. And here is our exponential growth function built into the found-up. They reinvest 80% of their net profits launching more found-ups. 
Okay, what does that mean? Well, it means they reinvest 80% of the net profits launching more found-ups that are going to help and save the planet, which means they're going to reinvest 80% and so on and so on and so on, right? This is an exponential growth function that's going to save our planet. This is, we have to change our business model to incorporate this one, right? And to give you an idea, using this model, if Google had launched as a found-up, not a startup in 1996, right? and someone had put a dollar into Google with all the dilution and everything else, right, and, and the return on that one dollar would have been 1.65 million dollars and of that 80 percent would have been need to spend on launching more innovation so 1.32 million dollars would have been spent on launching more found ups. The other 300,000 would have been taken home. That's a nice little thank you for one dollar, wouldn't you say? Well, we're going to keep doing this until we save our bees, until we save our fresh water that is responsible for all life, until we clean up our oceans, until we, we save and plant new forests, until we secure our GMO free food and its seed and our freedom because right now the only recourse is for, for us to lose our freedom. We've been seeing all this with the with the with the marches and the protests, we've seen the police beatings. America has become pretty much a police state. Our liberty. We're going to bring all of this back, and more importantly, we're going to save the 50% of our fellow species that currently are slated for extinction. It's the found up, and I'm the guy who basically created this idea for saving the planet. And I have launched an ongoing, eternal Kickstarter campaign, and I'm going to spend that every day of my life getting up around 2 a.m. 3 a.m. promoting sharing this vision because I need you to validate it and validation is really simple it, bec it, it means becoming a patron it means you thinking you know what Mike's idea is worth a chance I'm going to put in two dollars a month to help him make it that's it I don't need VCs, I don't need angels, I don't need accredited investors. All I need is for you to give me an opportunity to save the planet with just $2, $5, or $7. And here's the kicker. For the first 1,000 patrons, for those that want it, all right, I'm going to give you undiluted, undilutable equity in FoundUps Corp, the company behind this. It's a Delaware C Corporation. You don't have to take it. What I'm doing is a violation of the SEC. I'm doing it. It's not a violation for you to accept it. And because I want to thank you for being an early adapter. And I want to get the first thousand folks who become patrons of the Found Up an opportunity of a lifetime. Because it's because of you, the first 1,000, that we will save the planet. It's because of you that I'll be able to launch bound ups. Thank you. My name is Michael Trout. Just one guy trying to save our planet.